So what's up gamers, in this video I'll show you guys how you can play Rocket League with any gamepad. The gamepad I'm using here is a cheap $5 gamepad that I got from a local store. So I hope using this method you'll be able to use any gamepad to play Rocket League. The game is free on Epic Games Launcher and this method is for Epic Games Launcher. But however if you're using Steam there's another tutorial for that as well the link will be in the description box below. By the way it's the same method as Apex Legends and Fortnite so if you guys think that this video was not detailed enough for you then you can obviously watch those videos as well. And if this video does help you then please consider subscribing to the channel. So without wasting any more time let's just get right into it. So first of all you have to download this file called joystick. The link will be in the description box below so just go ahead and download it. Then you will need WinRAR or something like that to unzip the file. So I already unzipped it and here's the file. So just go inside it and then here you'll see another file. Then first you'll see a folder called install first. So just go inside there and install all the things that you guys can see here. So first of all what you can see is the universal joystick driver. So this is basically the driver of your joystick. Now a lot of people don't have the driver of their joystick especially if you're using cheap Chinese gamepads. They don't actually have a particular driver but however if you're using a branded gamepad like um, I don't know like Logitech or something then you will have its particular driver just go ahead and search the model that you're using and then also see that if you have a driver or not. If you guys have a particular driver for that gamepad then install that otherwise just install this universal joystick driver. Okay now after that what you have to install is the VIGM bus setup. Now this is the most crucial part of the installation. If you guys don't install this properly the whole method will not work. Now I didn't have any issues installing this but if you're having issues then I recommend that you just disable your antivirus for 5 or 10 minutes. This is not a virus. Now if you guys don't trust me then I'll put the official link of this file below. So just go ahead and download it from there. So just go ahead and install this. Now this is crucial. Don't skip this. Make sure that it's downloaded and installed properly. Then here you have the Xbox 360 driver. Now if you're using the latest version of Windows then this will be pre-installed but if you're using other Windows like older version of Windows 10, 8 or 7 or stuff like that then just go ahead and install this. Now after installing that you have to go to this folder called X output. Now from here you'll find this application called X output. Now here you will see your Speedlink Strike gamepad which is basically the gamepad oh, and also make sure that you have connected your gamepad otherwise nothing will work of course. So make sure that your gamepad has been detected properly. Now if you guys don't see your gamepad here then I recommend restarting your PC, reconnecting your gamepad and also trying other ports of your PC. So go ahead and make sure that the gamepad has been detected. Now from here just go to add controller then here you will see a controller then just go to edit and assign all the buttons that you guys can see here. So just go ahead and press configure and follow the image or the gif, gif whatever you will say and just assign all the buttons. Now this will take some time so just go ahead and take your time for this. Okay so as you guys can see I have properly configured my gamepad. Now you guys might have an issue where the Y axis doesn't work properly. Like if you go up the camera goes down and if you look down the camera goes up. Now if you are having issues like that then just go ahead and press invert. And then just close it and then make sure to save the configuration otherwise you will have to do it again and again. Then press start. Now you have to make sure that this software is running in the background but if you save the configuration you don't have to configure your controller every time. So make sure that this software is running on the background. Now you can go to your game and your game will run properly with a gamepad. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope. So if this video did help you then please consider subscribing to our channel. That will mean a lot to me. So well this is it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.